Hello friends, this is Dr. Sitesh Roy, your super specialist in immunology, allergy and asthma coming to you with this special video on can my flu shot protect me from COVID-19. Friends, I have been asked this question repeatedly in the past few weeks by a lot of different people that if I take my flu vaccine, will it also protect me from COVID-19? So I decided to do this video so you all can better understand that influenza, short form flu, and COVID-19 caused by SARS-CoV-2 are two very different viruses. Influenza belongs to a virus group called Orthomyxoviridae and SARS-CoV-2 belongs to a category called beta coronaviridae. So they are very different families. Now, influenza is also an RNA virus, just like the coronavirus, but one is a negative sense RNA virus and the other is a positive sense RNA virus. And the influenza virus has eight separate single-stranded RNA segments, whereas the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus has a single quite long elongated RNA segment. So there are core differences between the structure of the viruses. There are also differences in the entire way in which a virus infects. So while the influenza group of viruses attach through something called sialic acid, the SARS-CoV-2 viruses attach through the well-known spike protein with the ACE2 receptors. What we have to realize is these core differences in the virus still do not separate out their symptoms greatly and interestingly both viruses can cause fever, sore throat, cold, body ache, fatigue, muscle aches and myalgia and also progress to causing pneumonia and ultimately acute respiratory distress syndrome. There can also be much worse complications from SARS-CoV-2 as we have seen in this pandemic. Interestingly, the loss of taste and loss of smell that is often seen with SARS-CoV-2 is not seen with influenza that often unless someone has underlying allergies or sinus diseases which may affect their sense of smell when they get a viral infection. Having said that, we can only assume that the vaccines created against influenza and SARS-CoV-2 are very different. The influenza vaccine, which includes four strains, uh, or I would rather say different subtypes of two strains, influenza A and B, and also uh, does not contain the influenza C or D, which are not common known to cause pandemics or local epidemics whereas the influenza type A has been known to cause the uh, worldwide pandemic of 1918 called the Spanish flu which took the lives of almost 5 crore people and even today the influenza pandemics claim about 5 lakh lives throughout the world through the flu seasons. SARS-CoV-2 on the other hand we know has been an ongoing pandemic because we don't have any immunity to it. And the vaccine that is used for SARS-CoV-2, whether it is a mRNA-based vaccine or a vector DNA-based vaccine or an inactivated vaccine and soon to come protein subunit vaccines work very differently than influenza vaccines which are either inactivated viral vaccines or they are what are called attenuated viral vaccines used as a nasal spray for flu vaccine. There are different technologies for both, but what we have to realize is the flu mutates itself a lot more than the SARS-CoV-2 virus and hence a new vaccine is released for the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere every year based on the most recently circulating viruses. The efficacy of the flu vaccine is somewhere between 50 to 60 percent and when we look at its ability to prevent hospitalization of severe disease, it is somewhere around 60 to 70 percent. Whereas the efficacy of the SARS-CoV-2 vaccines, as we know, is somewhere between 66 to 95 percent. And we know that its ability to prevent hospitalization and death is even higher. So with that, friends, recognize that influenza vaccine can protect you from the flu infection. It's a very important infection to be protected from, especially for people who have chronic ailments and diseases. 
and respiratory diseases and other chronic diseases but for everyone else also and because of the overlap of symptoms you don't want to be quarantined for 14 days just because you have fever sore throat and a body ache when in reality it could be a flu which you could have prevented by taking the vaccination so flu vaccine has its own benefits SARS-CoV-2 vaccine has its own benefits they bo both work very differently on very different viral components and another thing to remember is there is a gap of about 14 days recommended between the two vaccines if you really have to take them in the right way. So friends, work on your immune system, keep yourself healthy with a healthy diet, lifestyle, exercise, continue to wear those masks, maintain social physical distancing and also wash your hands. And while doing all that, get vaccinated with the time is right and protect yourself from all viral infections. Stay safe, stay immune. Till next time, God bless us all.